220 million olfactory cells, about 40 times as many as we humans have, dogs can pick up and distinguish between the faintest scents. They can even recognize a single scent molecule among a trillion others. Even now, we are unable to truly understand just how complex this world of sense is, which is why scientists still don't know how widely dogs can be used to sniff out things. In South Carolina, on the east coast of the United States, Lisa Briggs lives and works with her dog, Layla. She has trained her golden retriever to detect human remains for police investigations. Layla is a crossover dog, so she lives in my home with me. She goes everywhere with me. She's uh, kind of a pet, and then I can put her vest on, and she's a working dog. She's uh, just turned three, but already closed uh, eight cases by finding human remains. So she's, a good, she's good at what she does. Trained cadaver dogs are thought to have the keenest sense of smell among all other dogs. The decomposition process creates a chemical cocktail of hundreds of different odors. Death's scent can truly take many forms, and Layla is one of the few who can identify it. My job is to read my dog. I've taught her what to do, but if when we're out on a search, I have to pay attention to her body language. People, when they watch the dogs, they can see it through the tail, through the nose, through the air scenting. Um, they may start barking early when they get into odor. And uh, her job is to actually not just get me close to source, but actually get me right on the source. <laughs> In a nearby forest, Layla is learning to sniff out different types of decomposition. They can be outdoors, underground, or even in water. Lisa has hidden a real decaying human hand, which is allowed in the U.S. for just this purpose. Thanks to her trained nose, Layla can detect a corpse in deep water and even distinguish between a dead rat and human remains. For Layla, this is all just a game. When she plays, she gets rewards. And this is no different in a real case when the police or family members are hoping to find important clues. My first search and the first time I found human remains, um, I was depressed afterwards. I was very, very sad um, because I felt sad for the victim. I felt sad for what we found. And then I realized I was making my dog sad, you know? And so I have to do a good job um, making sure that she stays happy at her job. So um, it's taken, you know, it's taken quite a bit of work to still remain a human being and have empathy for the family, but not to do so much of it that my dogs are picking up on the fact that I'm sad. Lisa and Layla work like a well-oiled machine, superior to many other forensic methods. But their work also shows how empathetic dogs can be.